I've never performed this piece live before. Poetry was always something that was just for me because I was embarrassed to share it. You see, for me growing up, showing your emotions was a sign of weakness. And if you showed people that you had a sensitive side, they would take advantage of that. So you had to keep it bottled up deep, deep down. And then I met this girl and she changed my whole life. She told me that actually feeling is a superpower. And once she started me crying, I just never stopped. <laughs> and now I'm so proud to feel and so proud to cry and it's all thanks to my amazing fiance. Can we please give it up for Mia? And I wrote this especially for her. It's called The Only One. You are the only one that ever made me cry like I did that first night we spent together. Cracked my heart wide open, tears streaming, feeling lighter than a bright white feather. You gave me a glimpse of the man I could become. That spark of God within me, buried deep beneath my bullshit and defenses I designed to keep the world out so they couldn't hurt me again. That was only you. It is impossible for another to take your place because I have never met another person like you and I doubt that I ever will. Your intoxicating blend of wisdom and innocence that drives men crazy, so playful and free, yet there is a depth to you that is undeniably ageless. You have a beauty that no combination of words could ever do justice. Place your hand on my heart and feel how much I love you. Look deep into my eyes and see how my soul yearns to be reunited with you in divine union. You are the only one that I choose again and again every morning. And the most amazing thing is that you keep choosing to spend your life with me too. What did I do to deserve the only you? Two star-crossed lovers from completely different worlds drawn together across the vast expanses of the galaxy to write a new rulebook for what love can truly mean. There is only one love like ours. A love like ours can inspire millions more lovers to find their only ones if only we have the courage to keep shining our love light so unapologetically bright to throw caution to the wind and express the fullness of who we are with every kiss, with every gesture, in every moment, even when it hurts, especially when it hurts. Surely this is why you came to me that fateful day so I could see the fullness of God's amazing grace in the breathtaking beauty of your face. That spark you lit still burns so bright, evolving and growing no end in sight. It's never the same. Each day it burns deeper, etched into my heart, my lover, my keeper. You are the only one I see when I look into my future. The one I'll grow old with, the one that I choose to be the mother of my children, the love of my life, my North Star, my anchor, my partner, my wife. I can't promise it'll be easy. You knew that when you chose me. Our love will be tested, my darling, my only. I can promise you this though, with God as my witness, I will never stop loving you. There is no barrier, no distance. 
that can keep us apart for more than one lifetime. I'll wait for you, me and more. There I am, at the finish line. And we'll plan our next adventure, perhaps alone, perhaps together. And we'll plan out how to find each other. I have the map, you are my treasure. We'll plan some good times, some hard times, some struggles and some fun. Some romance, some heartbreak, some rain, some snow, some sun. I'm getting ready for you, my darling. Working through my darkness. Waiting for your light. I know deep down inside my soul you will appear when the time is right. I can't wait to find you again, my love. Enjoy our brief time apart. You are the only one I gave the key to unbreak my broken heart. to write a poem similar to The Only One, but it's called The Only Yoni. <laughs> and for those of you who you don't know, Yoni is the Sanskrit term for vagina. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so in Tantra, you call a vagina a Yoni and you call a penis a lingam. Yes. Well, you can if you choose to. So, uh, I got I got guided to change the poem a little bit. So I'm going to read the same poem, just parts of it, but I'm going to change it to the only Yoni, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'll just read the highlights. You know the rest. I'm sure many of you can relate to this. You are the only Yoni that ever made me cry like I did that first night we spent together. Uh, cracked my heart wide open, tears streaming, feeling brighter than a bright white feather. Amen! You gave me a glimpse of the man I could become. gone within me. Very deep beneath my bullshit and defenses, I designed to keep the world out so they couldn't hurt me again. That was only your Yoni. <laughs> It is impossible for another Yoni to take your place because I have never met another Yoni like yours and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> your Yoni has a beauty that no combination of words can ever do justice. You are the only Yoni that I choose again and again every morning. And the most amazing thing is that you keep choosing to spend your life with me too. What did I do to deserve your Yoni? Yes! <laughs> A Yoni like yours can inspire more lovers to find their only Yoni. <laughs> If you only have the courage to keep shining your love light so unapologetically bright. <laughs> you are the only Yoni I see when I look into my future. The one I'll grow old with, the one that I choose to be the mother of my children, the love of my life, my North Star, my anchor. a little bit serious. I'm ready for you, my darling, working through my darkness, waiting for your light. I know deep down inside my soul, you will appear when the time is right. I can't wait to find you again, my love, 
enjoy our brief time apart. Um, you are the only Yoni I gave the key to unbreak my broken heart. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Queen, 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 que